Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We are going to make a tropical cocktail. This is called a Hawaiian Hammer. It's going to have those sweet tropical notes, and it's going to be able to kick you just hard, hard enough to make you want to be sitting on that beach relaxing in the sun. That's how it's going to kick you. So let's give it a try. Now this is a simple shaken cocktail that contains seven ingredients. Easy, perfect, and you know what? We're gonna shake this with a smile. But the first thing we're going to do is start out with a little bit of Cardi White Rum. Now, based on the amount of spirits that's in here and the amount of fruit juices, you don't want something that is super nuanced, super aged, because you will lose some of those finer points that you might be looking for in something that's a bit more delicate. And what we're going to do is start with a half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Next, we're going to give this a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of coconut flavor. And for this, we're going to use a little bit of Malibu coconut rum. Use whatever you want. Um, this is only 21% uh, alcohol. However, if you want something that's got a little bit more punch, that's awesome. Just make sure that you take into account the total ABV of everything involved, just so you don't make a drink that is so overly strong that it's not tasty to drink. And for this, we'll use again, half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of that banana flavor. And I'm gonna use some McGinnis banana liqueur here. Now this is a sweeter liqueur. It's 15% ABV, and we're going to use a full one ounce or 30 milliliter. The best thing about this stuff is it reminds me of banana popsicles from when I was a kid. So this is gonna be great. We get that coconut, we get that banana popsicle. But the other thing we're gonna do now is use a little bit of Gosling 151. This is where we're gonna kick it up and make it the hammer, so to speak. And we're going to use a full one ounce or 30 milliliters. Since we've kicked it up a notch with the 151 here, what we are going to do now is soften it a little bit with our fruit juices. And we're going to start with a little bit of orange juice. Now this is a 100% orange juice. It is pulp free, it's no added extra sugar. So this will add a little bit more sweetness, which will cut some of our flavors. You just have to be careful that you don't wanna to add too much orange juice if you're free pouring, because orange juice can overpower a cocktail. And for this, we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. So we've already started with the orange juice. Next, we're going to use some pineapple juice. And this is pure pressed pineapple juice. Again, no sugar added. Getting pretty low, hopefully I have enough. We're going to use another two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now this is starting to look like orange juice from concentrate. You know that frozen stuff you get in the Minute Maid can? Well, that's okay, because what we're going to do now is we're going to add some ice, and we're going to shake it for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So you want to make sure that your glass has enough ice in it to give you the proper amount of dilution. Slap your lid on like so, make sure you got a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand pineapple oranges or orange pineapples. Totally up to you. And what we are going to do now is we are gonna build this in two parts. And I'm doing this in a 12 ounce stemless wine glass. And our first step is to add a little bit of grenadine to the bottom. And I'm using Rose's grenadine here. And we're going to use a full half ounce or 15 milliliters. Gorgeous. And you know what? Now what we're going to do is add some fresh ice. And what you want to do is just fill the glass to the top, as much ice as you want, and that'll give you a whole bunch of hydration and, you know, I can't believe I just said hydration. Really, I can't. Uh, <laughs> it'll allow you to keep your glass colder, longer, uh, but I have a sneaky suspicion you're not going to want to, uh, uh, you know, this isn't gonna hang around a lot. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to strain, oops, strain this with my Hawthorne strainer. I'm not worried about ice chips. And we'll just pour it in slowly though so we don't disturb too much of the grenadine layer like so. This 
This looks really good, but let's give it a little bit of tropical pizzazz. We're gonna finish this off with some nuclear red maraschino cherries, and we're gonna add in a couple of pineapple fronds just like so. Just like that, absolutely fantastic looking. Now, the only thing we have to do is give it a try. And immediately you get the cherry, of course, a little bit of the pineapple, and you get some of that orange, but you don't really get any of the spirits. So this will be interesting. Oh, that's good. You get the pineapple, absolutely. You get that uh, orange. You get hints of the coconut and the banana, but you do get that rum kick. It's not a super hard punch, but it is there and especially at a nearly equal level of uh, uh, three ounces of uh, spirit to four ounces of juice, you definitely get that much better leveling of it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you'll be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out in the description below at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.